I am going to tell about SAP SD interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Question number one, what is SAP SD? What are the primary functions of sales and distribution? So, SAP SD handles all the processes of order to delivery. It executes the business processes used in selling, shipping, and billing of product and services. Inquiries and quotes. Sales orders. Sales return. Consignment. Contract and scheduling agreements. Credit and debit memo requests. Rush orders and cash sales. Back orders. Question number two, what is the organizational structure in sales and distribution? So, the organizational structure in sales and distribution is Sales organization Distribution channel Division Sales office Sales group Question number three, explain what is the difference between milestone and periodic billing? So, periodic, full amount in each bill till contract period Milestone, partial amount in each bill till full amount is billed. Question number four, explain how shipping point is determined? So, shipping point is determined by shipping conditions, plus loading group, plus delivery plant equals shipping point. Question number five, explain how you can assign distribution channel to sales organization? So, to assign distribution to sales organization in SAP, you have to follow the path. SPRO, SAP Project Reference Object, IMG, Enterprise Structure Assignment Sales and Distribution Assign Distribution Channel to Sales Organization. Question number six, what are the sales document types in SAP? What is the configuration step to define sales document type in SAP SD? So, the sales document types available in SAP are Credit Memo Request debit memo request, standard order, returns, etc. Configuration steps for SAP SD. IMG menu path, SPRO IMG sales and distribution sales sales document sales document header define sales document type. Question number seven, explain what is condition types. What is the path to define condition type in SAP for pricing? So. The representation of certain aspects related to your daily pricing activities is referred as condition types. The path for condition type for pricing is SAP IMG path, SPRO SAP reference IMG sales and distribution basic functions, pricing pricing control, define condition types. Question number 8, what is the reversal PGI? Can you cancel the PGI and mention the transaction code for PGI? So, PGI or post good issue is done to keep a record of available goods in stock after the goods are delivered. Good issue transaction cannot be cancelled but can be reversed. The transaction T code for reverse PGI is VL09. Partial quantity reversal is not possible. In the delivery document, you cannot reverse the PGI for one item slash partial quantity. Question number 9 Explain what is the difference between SAP Credit Memo Request and SAP Credit Memo. So, SAP Credit Memo, T code VF01, is created on the basis of Credit Memo Request, T code BA01. Credit Memo Request is generated when you have to pay to the customer. Excess bill or damages or change in the price. Question number 10, when would you use a SAP return order and SAP credit memo? So, SAP return order is carried out when customer returns any previously purchased products and requires a credit or money back. While credit memo is when the customer is credited without returning any goods. Question number 11, explain what is SAP posting period? What is the transaction code to open and close posting period? So. SAP posting period is to make sure that posting period for the business sales order is aligned with financial posting date, which means when financial accounting is ready for closing and proceed with the payment. Question number 12 Explain what copy control is and when copy control transition can be done? 
in what manner copy control transition can be done. So, in SAPSD, the process of copying data from the source document to the target document is done by copy controls. They consist of program referred as routing that determines how the system will transfer the data. Copy control could be useful for the end users who don't want to repeat the control parameters from order to delivery and then billing. Copy control can be done in following manner. Sales document by sales document. Billing document by sales document. Sales document by delivery. Sales document by billing document. Delivery by billing document. Question number 13, what are the three levels that copy controls are set up? And what are the transaction codes through which it could be done? So, at three levels of sales order copy controls are set up header level, item level, and schedule line level. VTAA, from sales order to sales order. VTLA, from sales order to delivery. VTAF, from the billing document to sales order. VTFA, from sales order to billing document. VTFL, from delivery to billing document. VTFF, from the billing document to billing document. Question number 14 Explain how you can include condition type in the pricing procedure. So, to include condition type in the pricing procedure, you have to follow the pathway. Basic functions, pricing pricing control define and assign pricing procedure and then select maintain pricing procedures after that select pricing procedure and then control data and add your condition type to the pricing system. Question number 15 explain what is Performa invoice and what are the types of it? So, Performa invoice is a reference doc for import and export negotiations. The standard Performa invoice doc types are with reference to order, F5. With reference to delivery, F8. Question number 16 mentioned the transaction code used to create a return delivery. So, transaction code is used to create a return delivery is T slash CVA01 with standard order type RE, while return delivery is T slash CVL01 with return delivery doc type LR. Question number 17, what are the two places where you need to configure CIN, country version India? So, the two places where you have to configure CIN is financial accounting tax on sale and purchase, and other is logistic general dash tax on goods movement. Question number 18, explain what is the difference between rush order and cash sales? So, rush order, order delivery will be done on the same day while billing will be done later. Cash sale, billing and order delivery will be done on the same day. Question number 19, list out the five features you can control for the sale document type. So, for sale, document type, the five features you can control is Text Partner Pricing Taxes Output Delivery Question number 20, what are the techniques available in delivery scheduling? So, the techniques available in delivery scheduling are Backward SCDG, the system calculates requested delivery date Forward scheduling, the system calculates the earliest possible date based on the material available date Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.